The Marine Federal Credit Union is set to host their sixth annual football jamboree with the help of the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission. In preparation for the annual football jamboree, the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission hosted a media day prior to the opening ceremony slated for August 16th. 16 teams are matched up and set to play at Northside High School. So we obviously start with eight local schools and recruit them, and then we'll try to find eight other out-of-county schools for 16 teams. And then that way we have uh, four pods of four out on the field. The media day consisted of a coaches panel where they each got the chance to speak about their upcoming 2019 teams and what's at stake. Good group returning players. Uh, we should be better. You know, depth is going to be an issue. Uh, as with most high school teams, we get a couple of key guys hurt, and then our reserves have to step up. But I think we can improve them on last year's results. I'm just a kid competing. Um, last year we was uh, extremely young, and we got a lot of kids back this year, and uh, I'm excited to see how we're going to plan out. The teams introduced provided visuals of their helmets for this season, some with new designs. At the conclusion of the panel, the coaches took part in a friendly wing eating competition to kickstart the fun for the Jamboree. Assistant coach Brandon Ball from Dixon High School chomped his way to the finish line for the second year in a row. Second year in a row, uh, a lot of good competition, everybody coming around, you know, it's a good cause. And, uh, it felt horrible last year in a good way, uh, but it's fun. Ball was awarded a $650 prize check towards the Golden Corral. I'm stuffed, I'm ready for a nap, I'm ready to go home. Uh, uh, there'll be a break in my future at some point, but it feels horrible in a great way. <laughs> The Marine Federal Credit Union Football Jamboree is one of the largest tournaments in the state of North Carolina. Well, it's kind of neat, and obviously, you know, the Sports Commission, uh, you know, we, we kind of are the host of the event, but we couldn't do it without our sponsors uh, because that helps. We, we're able to give the teams a little money and uh, offset some of their expenses. So, yeah, it's neat to hear that we're one of the largest ones in North Carolina. This Jamboree itself is great because we're seeing some great competition, and that exposes your flaws. When you face weaker teams, then you get by with things that, that are mistakes. The opening ceremony is set for 515 on Friday, August 16th. And from all of us here at Channel 9, whether you are a player or a coach, we wish you the best of luck this season for a happy, successful year. In Jacksonville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 9 on your side.